I just go there and I perform. I go by the DJ name of DJ Chops, based out in New York City. Put your fucking hands up! I'm booked up to four, four, five, six days out of the week. And whether it's private events or actual, you know, traveling and stuff, it takes a lot of my time. I work my way up. You know, it was just pretty much word of mouth until I got picked up by an agency called Hype Artist. And they, uh, they just led the way. You know, they started booking me in, um, in different parts of the world for my talent, for, for my skill. DJ Chops. People think it's easy. People think it's like, oh, you're there, you're behind a booth, and you're turning knobs and doing this, pressing buttons, whatever it is that they say. It's not. Um, it actually involves numbers. It involves um, memory. I can rock a crowd. I've never rocked crowds from five to 10,000 people in different parts of the world. And when you ask yourself why somebody wants to book you in a different continent, is because you have to be a great performer. You, you must be. So I say that I definitely put on a great show. Out there, we want to wish you a good morning, America. DJ Chops in the house. Oh, Friday. Friday. Take it down to the corporate world, Fortune 500, celebrity. You know, I want to be that celebrity DJ. That's where I want to take it. DJ Chops, DJ Michael Fusco, he's, gonna, he's coming soon, and uh, we're going to do a Solano Fusco duo. Good morning, America. Thank you to the whole team. We're here live in uh, Long Island tonight for the grand opening of Sugar. Um, we came here a little bit early. We got settled. We got a lot of beautiful, uh, beautiful ladies. We sat down. We had dinner. Uh, had a few drinks. Can you bring it? Can you rock the crowd? Your energy. Can you perform? Do people want to see you? If you can't read the crowd and play what the crowd wants to hear, you're not doing your job when you step into a club to DJ, that's your venue. You need to step in there like you own that place. My name is Michael Fusco. This is my friend Joey Pinto, my partner, my DJ, the one and only. We came from New York to be with you guys tonight, and I appreciate it. Working with the right people and being in the right places is kind of everything. What's going on? It's uh, DJ Michael Fusco. Uh, we're here in Costa Rica. My boy DJ Chops. Um, Bows. Bows. Uh, this is our hotel that we're staying at right now. Uh, it doesn't get any better than this. Look at this view. This is an amphitheater. You really can't ask for more. We're DJing tonight. I've been DJing for about four years now. Um, I'm currently 21, and I started when I was 16. I'd like to say that my main goal as a DJ is to just um, practice every day. Just try to learn something new every day about, you know, what I do for a living and how to become a better DJ. I haven't been in this industry that long. Four years is not, you know, a lifetime. It's not all just, you know, fun and games with this industry. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of ups and downs, and uh, you know, you really gotta, you know, uh, be careful in what you do, who you work with, and. Um, your image, it's, it has a lot to do with your image. I have so much respect for all of those D big DJs, Tiestos, the Avicis. If you want to be a Tiesto, it's all about can you produce a hit? Are you producing hit after hit after hit? A lot of new tracks. Like, uh, I, I made a lot of new tracks over the last uh, six months. So I'm going to play like a whole new intro. Uh, I, made a, I made a couple of collaborations with different people, uh, remixes. They're really making DJs the new rock stars. That's basically what it is. The bigger these DJs become, the more opportunity there is for people to succeed as a DJ. These DJs are basically paving the way for us to be able to, to make it. <laughs> 